<clears throat> Alrighty, so this one's all about you, Taurus. That's you over here. This is Terra Illumination. This is your mini generic love and relationship report for the November 2018 season. So, a lot of big changes happening this month, okay, for everybody, including you, Taurus. And I'll show you in just a moment. I just want to get some routine stuff um, done here first. Uh, you've done this before. Uh, we're shuffling to the very last second so that you're a witness. No jumpers, no flyers, no oracles, no reversals. We're going to use the Terra Illumination Crucible spread specifically for relationship on the understanding that there's you, a significant other, and a third entity itself called the relationship, which has its own mission, energy, purpose, and life. And you guys own that, for better or worse, okay? So what is the nature of that relationship? Is it leaky? Is it solid? Has it got foundations? Is it uh, flexible? And so on. We'll find out. <clears throat> so when we're doing this, uh, you might want to also consider cross-watching for significant others. Also, when we're doing this, please invite your invisible friends, angels, spirit guides, all of it, because it just richens up the whole thing. That's what we do here at Terra Illumination. Also, of course, watch for your sun, moon, and rising, especially if each one is different, and then you can reinterpret everything to, to work for you, okay? Now, actually, let's, let's do some Terra Illumination astro doodles here. I want to pull out a few things here. These are the full notes. For the whole month but this mostly refers to the big general reports for your whole life your whole way of being not love and relationship uh, so we're only going to focus on a couple of things here if you need the big stuff go to the general reports that's a whole other playlist okay so let's just mention a few things Taurus, the November Scorpio season is, uh, you could consider that your time and your period of maximum opposition, maximum awareness of what's working and maximum awareness of what's not working. It's going to be right in your face, just like a mirror standing right opposite you. Not here, not there, not there, not there, right here, not there, not there, right in your face. Okay? Nowhere to hide during this period. Scorpio is your opposing sign. This is the first house of you. This is the seventh house of the significant other, okay? The fifth house here is more about the lovey-dovey and the romance and the fun and the passion, okay? So I want to point out a few things. Let's look at some calendar moments. We got the Scorpio new moon here early on November 7th, okay? So I'd like you to think really big. Think of this as a whole new beginning of a whole new journey for a whole year, okay? when it comes to love and relationship. It's starting here, okay? This is gonna take a year to come around to the next year when we had the new moon in Scorpio at that time. So this is kind of a big deal uh, timestamp for you guys. Next big change is we've got the sun moving into Sagittarius here towards the end of the month, Jupiter moving into Sagittarius around the 10th. And Mercury goes retrograde in Sagittarius. So there's a huge shift in everybody for the whole planet. Jupiter is changing. This is a big shift. And it goes here in your eighth house of deep intimacy, shared resources. You could consider this the energy of what happens deep inside the relationship once you are formally bonded. <laughs> okay? Think of this as true love and romance. This is the marriage and the formalization. And this is what happens deep inside when you're in it. A lot of people get caught off guard here, really coming unglued. Just letting you know. But Jupiter is the planet of good fortune. It is the great benefic of the great healer, the great, great expander. So my feeling is that this is going to actually work for you, and you're going to see how valuable you really are to a significant other and how valuable a significant other really is to you. And you might have much better understanding about that, especially towards the end of the month when you get the full moon in Gemini over here opposing all the Sagittarius energy over there. All right. A couple more dates I want to pull out for you. Uh, please uh, consider what's happening uh, when the moon is in Taurus for you around November 21st, okay? Because the moon is right there. You can get some, you, you know, often I find that uh, the uh, wherever the moon is lying, uh, we have a lot of um, timidity, fear, and sensitivity, hypersensitivity, uh, because we can become so sensitive at that part of ourselves. So how do you feel about yourself? What do you really, really, truly feel about yourself? Because that will affect how others feel about you. 
especially a significant other. The next dates I'd like you to pull out are uh, when the moon is in Virgo, over here in your fifth house of true love, okay? So how do you feel about yourself at that time? How do you feel that others feel about you? We actually get it twice this month, November 2nd and 3rd, very early on, and right at the end, November 29th and 30th. So please take account of that. Just see how you feel, because that affects everything else. This is the big one, though, okay, here, the, the Scorpio energy full on facing you. Also, Taurus, if you're not aware, it's been really heavy duty monster Scorpio stellium for a while in October. So you might be exhausted in some ways about so much opposing pressure. It could be wonderful, uh, like if you're on the right side of the curve, but it could have been very intense and very challenging for you over the last, you know, six weeks or so. It's not quite over yet. We have to go through several weeks here in November before the big shift changes. So pay attention, okay? Pay attention over here. Okay, let's get to the cards. I know that's what we're here for, really. <clears throat> now, another thing I want to ask uh, is, well, I want to thank you, first of all, for all the subscribes and the likes. It really, really helps. We're learning more and more about how the channel actually works here. Instead of just pumping out videos, we're actually trying to focus more on the, you know, the value of Terra Illumination, how to make it work better for you. The better it works for you, uh, Terra Illumination, the better it works for you. So one of the things we're doing is reaching out for more subscribers and more likes, deliberately asking for this. Thank you very much. Next, I want to invite you guys to get deeper into the energy here with Terra Illumination because it's really, really what it's about is the love and the healing. So we've just started this first Friday group healing events, okay? First Friday of every month. Please consider that. Check the links out below. And finally, the big, big ask here is Terra Illumination membership. Please consider membership. It's a really, really, probably the most effective way of saying thank you and uh, uh, making it real. Uh, check out the links below and follow the links to the Terra Illumination membership thing and you will understand more when you check in there, okay? Don't be shy, all right? It's very reasonable and uh, it's all about the spirit of fair exchange. And Terra Illumination provides a lot of so-called free services and content for you. And it's uh, time to balance things out a little bit. I know you understand. And I know you love the people who do love the channel, love it very much. So I get it. We might not be the biggest channel, but we've got a lot of love here. So thank you so, so much. That's your invitation to our Illumination membership. All right, here we go. Cards are well shuffled in advance, even before we started rolling. So I just wanted to let you know you're a witness to the last second. We're going to use the crucible spread. I think I said that earlier, where it's on the understanding that there's you, Taurus, there is a significant other, and then there is the relationship itself. Okay. And so we'll see how that looks. Okay. What are you radiating? Think of yourself like a smartphone, cell phone. What are you radiating? It's the energy in, energy out simultaneously. You own that. You're responsible for all of that, including the love frequencies. Same for a significant other. What's going on with them? Deep inside of you, deep inside the other, and at the core of the relationship itself. What does this all look like? I hope you can see the bowl structure here. The bowl is the crucible. The crucible is a bowl that is designed to withstand intense pressures of alchemical reactions as we intimate and separate, as we intimate and separate, as we all do in a loving relationship. Okay. And what are we creating here? What are you guys growing? What are you growing? This is not a couple's reading, Taurus. This is all about you. We are allowing for the presence of a significant other. We're going to look at circumstantial energy, environmental influences. I like to think of it as the weather, first of all. Okay. Three of swords. So the energy of I, what I'm thinking of is everything that's not working. You know, a lot of people get scared of this card, especially in love and romance and relationship type of reading, where they think, oh, this is the end of the world. Everything's broken. Everything's destroyed. I've been destroyed. I've been betrayed. I've betrayed someone, whatever it is, however you want to look at it. Some people, you could think of it as a triangle. Something is triangulated. A lot of times for a lot of people, triangulated relationships are extremely painful and intolerable, but they do happen a lot. Uh, there are a lot of relationships that are triangulated because out of necessi necessity, 
out. <laughs> Necessity. <laughs> Pardon me, sorry, Taurus. So if you are in a situation where there's some triangulation, like you might love someone deeply and you might love another very deeply. You might be with someone who loves you deeply and who also loves another very deeply. Imagine like divorcees and so on, where there's children involved. And it's a question of allocation of energy. And uh, there can be intense jealousy between a partner and a partner if one partner's energy is consumed by, let's call it, the baggage of previous relationship and vice versa. Maybe they are resentful of the baggage that you might carry from a previous relationship and everything that goes with it. But in a truly loving relationship, remember, this is a swords card. It's not a hearts or cups card. Uh, people sometimes have to allow and adapt for triangulation or some kind of fracture uh, and keep going anyway. Now, this is not the end of the world. I like to think of this sometimes as the red engine light going on in a car. You know, if you choose to ignore that, you know, you're going to get what uh, happens when you ignore the warning signs. When you pay attention, it can be really, really beneficial. It's like a very powerful message. Things need close, close one on one attention. So don't be scared of this. All right. Think of it as a very powerful message that healing is uh, necessary, uh, attention is necessary, and we go for it from there. So what are you radiating, Taurus? Okay, the Empress. So in very great contrast to that circumstantial energy, in other words, you might be very well aware that there is something uh, fragile, broken, maybe tragic. Maybe there is a betrayal to you, a betrayal of yourself to another. Maybe there's a triangulation, whatever it is. That's not going to stop you from being you, okay? I hope you see that. Give me a moment here, please. So, excuse me, I just had to take care of that office situation. With the Empress here, to me, as your reader right now, at this moment in time, it feels like you are blooming, totally blooming and resonating like, like an amazing orchid, okay? And it has that period where it is in full bloom and it's full majesty, it's full beauty. And you it's almost like you get to see this uh, in yourself, okay? Now, a lot of times this can't happen unless you've had some very, very substantial, solid, loving, deeply caring reflection come back to you from a significant other. There are certain types of healing, growth, and evolution that can only exist and occur in the context of a deeply loving, intimate relationship, okay? Of a better, uh, like a for better or worse thing, where both parties are constantly making difficult decisions to stretch outside of their comfort zones in order to uh, nurture and foster uh, the spiritual growth and healing of number one, themselves, and number two, their significant other because that's the most one of the most powerful things you can do because everything emanates from there. Love breeds love. I think that's what you're doing here, Taurus. I think you've discovered a glimpse of what it's like to love and to be loved and how incredibly nutritious this is. You know, there's no substitute for this, nothing. No career, no uh, amount of cars or money or ambitions or passion or stuff, you know, can substitute for that. So I think that this is like the embodiment of Taurus energy radiating at full brilliance here. And even, it's almost like against all odds. It's almost like, you know how, what are, what's that analogy like with grapes and with wine? Sometimes the best, highest quality uh, wines come from the grapes that have been uh, most distressed on the most uh, distressing soil in the ground. So the the plant and the roots and the vine has to work so hard to create this fruit. And so the fruit is very concentrated and, and very, very delicious relative to the vines that grow in warm, luscious climates where they produce big, fat, liquid grapes that don't have the finesse. I think what we've got here is the beauty and the finesse of something that can only come from something very profound that either you own it and you know it or you own it, but you don't know it, but it is there anyway. I'm glad to see this for you, Taurus. This is absolutely gorgeous. So what are they radiating over here? Oh my gosh. 
what's going on, Taurus? Honestly, I was a bit uh, intimidated by the reading to have to give it to you because uh, just looking at this, just looking at this alone, I kept quaking. I kept thinking, oh my gosh, I wonder what's going to come up in the cards for Taurus. I was really like almost shaking. Uh, but I'm feeling here that you must be doing something in some way, shape, or form that is what I would call above and beyond like normal uh, actions and behaviors and decisions that occur, occur in a relationship where you've obviously taken the hint from the deep Scorpio stellium recently to go deep, deep within, deep, deep, deep diving to find out what really is going on here and you've discovered it. And what it is is love. It's very, very pure. I think this is energy with the two of cups here is you are in a relationship in all your delicious abundance here they totally get you and they are responding with the most pure kind of love that love that exists it's just like the 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 healing power of love that comes from the the, the what are the words i'm thinking of are like devotion kindness compassion patience endurance good listening deep sense of care and caring uh, at those kind of levels where it translates into love and healing which is very much what happens here at terra illumination so i think you are in a situation here taurus where you're radiating your natural self at the highest standards and qualities possible and you're with someone else who gets it they fully understand and they regard they are responding with the the most love that is possible in relationships okay so i feel that you're very very lucky it's very fragile it's very delicate it's so it's almost like nebulous very divine type of energy so you have to be very very aware taurus how valuable this is uh, in the context of situations that are precarious okay this is not the end of the world you've got something very beautiful going on here in a very difficult circumstance some way shape or form or other if you admit it or if you're honest with yourself about these things that issue is there somewhere whatever that is you will know let's have a look deep inside of you eight of wands well my feeling is that the because you're picking up on this because you're sensing it either very deliberately and consciously, maybe you get a lot of terra illumination readings and you take this stuff seriously, or maybe this is just your natural way of being and you're just really high frequency uh, love relationship type of energy and you're getting it, you're understanding it, like you understand this, why and how it is this way for you, and you're not going to apologize for being this yummy, and you are seeing this coming back to you, and this is real. This isn't just some kind of like fairy tale joke. This is the real deal. And it's it's like it's like what so many people dream of and wish they could have. And then you have a glimpse of this. You have a chance to own this and keep it, even if it's just little nuggets at a time. It's so, so valuable that you know you could have uh, 10 years of a marriage that's mediocre, and then a week, one week of a relationship like this which trumps all of those 10 years. You know, you often hear these tragic stories in love and relationship. You know, I was married for 20 years, I had three kids and what happened? And then somebody meets somebody and all of a sudden it's the real deal. What I'm seeing here for you, Taurus, is the real deal. It's just happening in very challenging circumstances. Nevertheless, this gives you the desire and passion to move forward and like, grab everything that you can out of this and make it yours and it's, it's like even if you're very very reserved and grounded and stable and earthy like classic taurus and very patient there's a lot of drive here with the eight of wands to like make the best of this love life this situation this re this relationship dynamic whether it's a, a new love or a marriage or uh, a, a recalibration of an existing love, whatever it is, there is a lot of passion inside of you pent up that is looking for expression here. Very delicious, okay? It's almost like getting, you know, the things that people want in love and relationship, where you get the, the, the genuine loving 
caring bond where they are going they are in investing as much love into you that you see this in in yourself like you couldn't see this in yourself unless you had this from a significant other so now you're seeing it and you see the witness of your own beauty the witness of your own love uh, is like a turn on for you it's just like wow I feel that inside now it's so amazing to feel validated that these frequencies super ultra high love frequencies over here from a significant other it makes you feel really really good okay so what about the other person over here okay <laughs> well with the fool over here my feeling is that they are so far on this let's say what I would think of as devotion this energy this pathway of devotion of deep love and deep caring in the purest sense where in some ways they're like a pioneer because they actually in themselves they've probably never had a chance to go there or be here either it's almost like so there's a lot of newness here I would associate that with the Scorpio new moon I feel that the fool card over here very very much relates to uh, the beginning of an epic new journey for you Taurus it's starting right now here in November and it's a big journey big 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 and it's going to expand and it's going to include with that Jupiter in Sagittarius stuff about what happens when you merge with another soul at these kind of levels these kind of frequencies deep deep soul merger it takes a lot of people uh, if you're lucky to have this at all anybody uh, it's it's so new that a lot of times you might not know where you're going at least they don't know all they know is that they're on this new journey adventure with you that's how I feel here it's like it's it's very blessed and joyful like the energy of a brand new life a brand new journey ahead for them it's almost like what they want and what they needed because it doesn't matter whatever happened in the past anymore the only thing that counts is now this is a very very powerful card of now energy and it's like they are putting everything they have into the now into the moment and every moment everything has a chance to change and shift and so the standards are being set extremely high here for you Taurus by a significant other and in so doing this is turning you on and bringing the best out in you and the challenge is now um, like what do you do with this because like you're eager to go on this expedition with them and they are they've already committed and they're already facing in the right direction they just don't have any you know maps <laughs> So they might be relying and very leaning very heavily heavily on you in some way or very gently or just being willing to be at your side like a, a companion okay a companion in your own epic journey where they feel it's part their own epic journey too let's have a look at the core here let's have a look okay so it is very much a team effort getting things back down to earth here coming out of this very divine type of energy getting back down to earth it's like the relationship is all about well okay what are we going to do now hmm exactly how are we going to do this it's a team effort it takes planning it takes care it takes gifts talents resources time energy commitment when we are in a situation like this what are we going to do so let's have a look how do things progress from here five of pentacles so my feeling is that both parties are going to have to learn how to operate in uh, limited conditions uh, limited circumstances where there are going to be periods uh, of however you want to describe the relationship where there are going to be moments of separation which are going to feel very uncomfortable okay because of the extremity of this reading the extreme nature of the reading and the amazing opportunity is here of bonding and going very very deep and merging deep resources in a very fortuitous way I think you Taurus are going to be very aware of this and remember this is not a couple's reading it's all about you Taurus we're allowing for a significant other over here so what I'm sensing is that coming back down to earth the reality of the difficulties of this energy whatever that is you will know what it is Taurus whether you've got commitments to other people situations locations parents uh, nieces nephews uncles aunts 
uh, loved ones, spouses, ex-spouses, and so on, um, children from other marriages, whatever it is, which makes it potentially very difficult to operate in this beautiful, loving relationship. That's the reality. So the storyline here feels like, what are we going to do? We have to treat this as a team effort. We have to conduct ourselves very responsibly on the understanding that in some ways we are going to be deprived. We're going to be deprived of being able to operate at full, at, at, at full optimized possibilities here because of this. Now, we're not saying we've got a cure for this or a solution for this. This might be just how things are, and that's just how it is. And so you have to deal with reality. It's perfectly possible to love and to be loved, to love and to be loved in the context of such a situation like this. But it also means being very realistic, grounded, and honest with yourself and each other that there are going to be times when you're going to wish that this did not exist and that there would that wish could be strong enough to trigger a desire to figure out what are we going to do about this, okay? So how long, basically, Taurus, are you willing to operate and drive and live the vehicle of your life, live the journey of this relationship, okay? Think of it as a journey, something that has a good solid foundation and a tremendous amount of love and drive and passion here. How are you going to do that uh, while the red engine light is blinking, okay? At some point, Things have to be addressed regarding this energy. I'm not going to throw this as uh, a complete wrench in the system. Just think of yourself on a huge road trip and you're driving along and all of a sudden the red engine light is blinking. The car hasn't stopped. The journey isn't over. The journey will continue. But what are you going to do about this? You have so much here, Taurus. You have so much good stuff going on here that in some ways you're invincible, but still. This needs to be acknowledged and understood, and you need to apply the healing power of love to the whole situation, okay? You need to get very, very real here. So you don't feel the deprivation and loss as a permanent long-term thing. It's just a question of dealing with the realities, the physical, worldly realities of your life and how it's playing out in the context of this relationship. Sorry that reading went on for a long time. I'm sorry if I repeated myself. Please make the best of this. Thank you so much, Taurus, and have a super, super November. Make the best of it. I know you will. Bye.